Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to today's video, What Faction Should I Choose in EVE Online? In the past, new players always sent, tended to ask, Hey, what faction should I choose when I'm making my first character? And the answer has always been, well, really it doesn't matter. You pick whatever race you want, and you go to town. Because any race can choose any ship, and any weapon system, and you can live anywhere in the video game that you want to live. So... Realistically, it didn't matter from anything other than a roleplay perspective. For the most part, that still holds true today. If you have an Omega account, then you can pretty much fly whatever you want. But with the advent of Alpha clones that CCP recently came out with, there's a little bit of a difference where, okay, now if I have a new account and I have a new tune on it, or character, well, what class, what race should I choose? Uh, in context of, say, Faction Warfare, which is where I'm prominently going to focus in these next uh, videos and everything else that I do, the race doesn't matter outside of just then what ships you can fly. So, in a quick overview, what are the races? Well, they're the Amar, the Kaldari, the Galente, and the Mimitar. Uh, I'm not going to drill too deeply into everything about these particular races, their ships, and everything like that, because for the most part, everything is sort of balanced in EVE at this point. There are, of course, exceptions to that, and you'll learn them as you start playing the game and as you get into some high-tier high ships and stuff like that. But today we're kind of concerning ourselves in terms of faction warfare, in terms of a new player, really you're only dealing in the T1 hulls anyway, which are the Tier 1 or like the Navy Faction Frigates. Uh, those are what you can fly as an Alpha clone, and they're actually pretty good if you know how to handle them, which Faction Warfare will definitely give you a boost in your ability to PvP. In terms of each specific race, the Amar tend to be armor tanked, so most of their uh, hit points come out of their armor. Uh, they have lasers as their primary weapon system, but they do have some missile and drone and uh, ships that use drones. And for their electronic warfare, they tend to use weapon disruption and energy destabilization. So basically, draining other people of their caps or screwing up their other their enemy's ability to track their own ships. Uh, Kaldari shield tanks so shields are their most important asset for defensive they tend to use missiles or hybrid turrets and they tend to have electric countermeasures also known as jamming basically if you can't be targeted you can't be shot uh, galente again hybrid turrets or heavily drones um, they tend to be also armor tanked and for them remote sensor dampening and warp prevention so that they can sit out a little bit further if you're dampening someone so that they can't quite target you at the range and pre preventing and they get bonuses for pe to prevent people from warping off. Um, Minmatar. Minmatar have some really fast ships. Primarily they have projectile turrets or missile launchers so if you like just your old-fashioned shooting slugs at each other those are the types of weapons that they use. They can be armor or shield tanked depending on what ship you're going with and that's a little more you got to talk to people who know how to fit to get really good ideas because you don't want to do both at the same time just because you could do armor or shield you really want to pick one or the other and then build your entire ship around that and they tend to focus on target painting and stasis webifying for their electronic warfare so that basically you're shooting metal slugs at someone target painting and webifying make them bigger and smaller or bigger and slower so that you can hit them better so back to the first question, who do I choose? It really doesn't matter. You just have to know that you will be limited to your ship selection so that you're going to only have certain types of ships that you can work with. As you see on the screen here, uh, that's been kind of just sitting around. This is one of my Kaldari uh, industrial ships, T1 industrial ship. It's really snazzy looking. Um, not the best design ship in my personal preference but it gets the job done um, other factions you can easily pick out what they have usually by the background color here this is the fitting window and on here yellow or gold generally tends to be your Mar 
This is the Amar Corvette, which is what you would get as a new person. This will be one of the first ships you get. The Kaldari have the Ibis, which you can simulate here. They don't have the same... They give kind of a wire color here, which is kind of cool, but, you know, you don't get to see the same... All the nice color features to it that you do when it's actually in space. Um, here we have the Galente version. And those tend to be green, Kaldari blue, and Mimitar tend to be red with the backgrounds. So that's the easy way to pick out any ship just based off of the background. And that kind of gives you an idea of what you're dealing with. As you get on in the game, you'll be able to fly other ships. If you go Omega, you'll be able to fly bigger stuff, flashier stuff. And you'll be able to cross over into different races so that you can pick the right ship for the exact right thing that you're doing. In order to do this, do any of that, however, you have to have your skill training. Now in this case, I'm going to pull up my skills here, and this is what I'm currently training. And as you can see, it's kind of, you know, you, you learn uh, how to do this in your first tutorial, so I'm not going to delve too deep into that. There are, however, tools out there. For example, there's a program called Evemon, which you should probably at some point look into getting. And in the description below, I will put a link to a set of skill plans that Batsticks uh, was kind enough to create and put out there for general use for everyone. It basically gives you a rundown on you take these files, you plug them into this third party tool, and it tells you, hey, here are the skills that you should learn and in the order that you should learn them as best you can. There's always room for modification, but so that you can get all the mileage for your Alpha clone. If you have any further questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you guys in future videos with any questions that you guys might have. Uh, until then, I'm Elark and you guys have a great time flying out there.